Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hello, my name is Skylar. I am a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist. On my channel we have a ton of different raw feeding videos taking you over you know, the benefits of raw feeding, different types of raw toppers, how to introduce raw into your pet's diet, and this is one of the conversations that I have with nearly everyone that I talk to who's interested in feeding raw pet food. It always comes down to well, what raw pet foods do you recommend and ultimately this is the guiding line to figure out what's gonna work best for you and your needs. Today we are going to be comparing both Stella and Chewy's and Primal Raw Pet Foods in order to demonstrate the kind of two categories of raw pet foods and why one or the other might be a better option for you based on your needs and what you want to see from your raw pet foods. Obviously there are way more options than just Stella and Chewy's and Primal when it comes to commercially available raw pet food. And I wouldn't necessarily say that either one is the absolute best on the market. However, I do enjoy them both and they also help to demonstrate this exact example in a really good way. I don't pick Stella and Chewy's and Primal because I necessarily think that they're the best foods on the market. However, they're both very, very popular brands, arguably one of the most popular brands in the United States when it comes to commercially available raw pet food. So most people have heard of them or potentially could have access to them. I also like comparing the two because they're definitely each gearing themselves towards a different raw feeding demographic. Brands like Stella and Chewy's are often a lot more affordable for pet parents who are wanting to incorporate raw into their pet's diet. Whereas brands like Primal are usually geared more towards people who are a little bit more conscious maybe of the efficacy of where their food comes from or they're looking for something on the more natural side. Both Stella and Chewy's and Primal offer both frozen and freeze-dried versions of their food. In both cases the freeze-dried version is just the frozen version without moisture, which tends to be the case with a lot of raw pet food brands. Stella and Chewy's and Primal are also pretty large companies in the grand scheme of things when we're looking at commercially available raw pet food. They're definitely larger than you know some of the more regional companies when it comes to raw food and so for that reason it makes it a pretty even comparison. Let's talk about Stella and Chewy's for a second. Stella and Chewy's offers both frozen and freeze-dried food. Their whole model I believe is geared towards making raw as easily accessible as possible for as many people as possible. So along those lines they have a raw coated kibble, so you feed your kibble just as you normally would, only this kibble is coated in a freeze dried raw powder. They have their raw blend, which is the raw coated kibble with chunks of freeze dried raw. They have just their standard freeze dried raw, they have their frozen, they make it really really easy for you know, the average person to be able to incorporate raw into their pet's meals without making it overly complicated or overly expensive. At one time, about a year ago, I took maybe 12 different raw pet food brands, figured out how much it would cost to feed a large breed dog for one day, and found that Stella and Chewy's was the most affordable out of all of the brands that I looked at. This is in part because Stella and Chewy's has a much higher percentage of meat in their foods than some of the other brands. Oftentimes on the front packaging of Stella and Chewy's, especially their frozen raw, you'll see usually 90 to 95% meat, organ, and bone. Obviously meat is going to be where a lot of those calories are, so the more meat that's in the raw food, the more calorically dense it is, typically the less you're going to have to feed and in turn that can often mean it's going to be less expensive over time. And that is the case with Stella and Chewy's. So if they have such a high percentage of meat, organ, and bone, how are we sure that they're complete and balanced? Stella and Chewy's does advertise themselves as complete and balanced according to AFCO standards, so you're going to have all of the same minimum nutrition requirements as you would any other kibble, canned food, cooked food, whatever. What they rely on is synthetic vitamins and minerals. This is very common, especially if you're used to feeding kibble. Pretty much every kibble is reliant on a synthetic vitamin pack to help to make sure that they have all of their vitamins and minerals. And that's just what Stella and Chewy's does. By using that synthetic vitamin pack, Stella and Chewy's is able to have most of their food be, you know, that meat, organ, and bone, which means that their food can be more calorically dense, which means you can feed less, which means in their case it does make them more affordable. On the flip side we have Primal, and Primal is one of the more expensive raw pet food brands, and that's because they don't use any synthetic vitamins or minerals. 
All of their vitamins and minerals comes from the meat, the organ, the bone, and all of the organic fruits and veggies in their food. Primal also advertises themselves as complete and balanced according to AFCO standards, so it also meets all of the nutrition requirements of your standard kibble, your canned food, your cooked food, whatever. Because Primal relies on organic produce for a majority of their other trace vitamins and minerals, they aren't able to have as much meat percentage-wise than the Stella and Chewies. Primal follows more of a BARF diet model, BARF standing for Biologically Appropriate Raw Feeding, which typically recommends 80% of the formulation be meat, organ, and bone, and about 20% be the produce, veggies, fruits, seeds, that kind of stuff to build up all of the trace vitamins and minerals. This is still well within the accepted range of what is considered a biologically appropriate diet. Now, because so much produce does have to be in the food to make it complete and balanced, that means that there is less of that meat, organ, and bone per patty. And that means that you have to feed more patties, it's less calorically dense per patty, which means you have to feed a little bit more than you would the Stella and Chewies, which means that you're gonna have to be buying more bags of it over time. Between the organic produce to make it a synthetic free food, and the need to feed more of Primal in order to make sure you have all of the calories that your pet needs, Primal is a more expensive food overall. So if they're so different composition-wise, why do I compare the two? When it comes to raw feeding, people do it for a bunch of different reasons. There's people who want to feed raw because they know it's the most biologically appropriate way to feed your pets, and they're really interested in staying away from synthetics and making things as natural as possible, kind of going back to nature as much as possible for their pet's nutrition. Then you have people who are interested in raw because, again, they know it's the most biologically appropriate way to feed their pets. They want to incorporate as much of it as they can, and they maybe just want it to be able to feed as much raw as possible while still making it affordable. Typically, when I'm talking to people about raw feeding, they can be put into two groups. You have the one group who heard about raw feeding, they're maybe new to it, they're wanting to give it a try, and they're wanting to incorporate as much raw food as they possibly can into their pet's diet, but they maybe can't afford the best of the best. They just have X amount of money, how much raw food can I feed my pets for this much? Along those same vein, you might have people who maybe don't care whether some of the vitamins and minerals are coming from a synthetic or a whole food source because they're already supplementing with kibble and their pets have been eating food with a vitamin pack for so long and ultimately, grand scheme of things, not the biggest priority when it comes to deciding which food you want to get. On the other hand, you have the people who are interested in raw because they really want to go back to what is most biologically appropriate. They want to go back to the most natural way to feed their pets or maybe they do have however much money it takes to feed their pets the best raw food they can find. And they find that a raw food that is synthetic free and relies on whole food sources for those vitamins and minerals is the best option for them. After kind of explaining the differences between the two, people tend to find themselves leaning one way or the other and that makes it a lot easier for me to be able to give suggestions as to other foods that are going to be similar that you can check out. For example, if Stella and Chewy's is more your ballpark, there's a lot of other raw pet food options that have more of a similar composition. I know around me, Northwest Naturals is a pretty popular local raw pet food brand that kind of fits in that same vein. Um, I believe Darwin's and Steve's also leans a little bit more in the Stella and Chewy's realm. And if you like the sound of Primal, you might also like brands like Cure Pet Foods or Answers Raw Pet Foods. I personally love to see more people safely incorporating raw pet food into their pet's diets, and if that means going with you know, the more affordable option that's probably more widely available depending on where you live, that's awesome. If you are willing to spend a little bit more, maybe feed a little bit less, and are really passionate about kind of feeding that whole food, more natural option, that's awesome and totally great. I hope this video taught you a little bit more about the different types of raw pet food and maybe helped you figure out where your personal motivations for feeding raw align so you can feed a brand that matches that. Last but not least, no matter what your preferences are, no matter what your budget is, incorporating raw pet food does not have to break the bank. There's no such thing as all raw or no raw. You can do half raw, half kibble. You can do 
20% raw and the rest kibble. You, you can incorporate raw toppers like raw goat's milk or taking a nugget of a commercially available raw pet food and mushing it into your pet's food with each meal. Anything that you're able to add as far as, you know, lightly cooked food, commercially available raw food, uh, real fruits and vegetables, that kind of stuff. And if you're not comfortable feeding raw, that's totally cool too. You're more than welcome to find toppers at your local grocery store, find some cheap meats or something on sale, lightly cook them to make sure that they are safe for your pets to be eating, and feel free to top their food that way. Ultimately, the more meat and moisture you can add to your pet's food, often the better. Makes it so much easier to digest, makes it a lot tastier, helps to offset the high carbohydrate count of the kibble, and just makes it that much closer to being a biologically appropriate meal. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a like. Comment below kind of what camp you find yourself in. Are you more of a Stellan Chewy side of the spectrum or more of a Primal side of the spectrum? Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not already and check out the raw feeding playlist if this is your first time learning about raw food with us. There's a couple other videos that can help get you started. If you would like more information between videos, you can also check me out on Instagram. I have two Instagram accounts. First one is tattoo.dogtrainer. That's more of the personal side of things, maybe some YouTube-y stuff. And I also have Top Dog Behavior. That is my business account. I do daily posting on there about training, behavior, and nutrition. So feel free to give those a follow if you'd like. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!